Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to Spirit of Islam. I'm your host Ashraf Zaglul. And inshallah today we'll talk about Muslim women's headscarf or the hijab. And it always comes up and uh, bothers some people why does Muslim women wear the hijab. I read once in the newspaper, it's, you know, somebody, a non-Muslim expressing their opinion that's a sign of suppression of Muslim women, not realizing that for a lot of women it is uh, a choice. And, you know, in a society where we respect this choice, why does it some people worry about or make an issue of a, woman, a Muslim woman deciding she wants to wear the hijab? Um, if we look through uh, uh, and discuss religion throughout history, we will find that uh, uh, the woman wearing a headscarf is in a lot of religions. The best example is in the Christian religion. We see a nun wearing a hijab all the time, expressing her face, and nobody comments about it. If we look at the picture of uh, Mother Mary, the mother of Jesus, uh, السلام, she's wearing a hijab all the time. Nobody ever says it's a suppression or it's wrong. We respect it. And the question becomes, why is it when a Muslim woman is wearing a hijab, it becomes an issue and, uh, you know, a lot of people discussing it. I would like to introduce my guest today, Professor Muriel Walker from University of McMaster. How are you? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Uh, you had an issue, you came up with the idea of Hijab Day at University of McMaster. Could you give us the background? And um, well, I come originally from France, so I've always been very sensitive to the issue of the hijab because um, in France there's a lot of North African Muslims coming from the ex-colonies and the French have always been very hostile towards the hijab. Is specific reason why they are? I read in the I paper think, and it always well, surprises me. Uh, these days, uh, of course, it's getting worse uh, yeah. because of the 9-11 attacks. There's definitely um, an Islamophobic mm -hmm. uh, movement on the rise. Mm -hmm. In France, there was always some Islamophobia because um, uh, the French and North African, in particular Algerians, had a lot of very, very bad blood mm -hmm. between them. Uh, yeah. them. And so the issue of the hijab, I think, uh, makes everybody agree, you know, like extreme uh, right people uh, or extreme left people, they all agreed, you know, against that. Feminists agreed against this it as well. It surprises me because the French always, uh, uh, you know, strikes me as free-spirited, spri uh, do as you want, fashion. So this yeah. specific issue, uh, you know, s surprises well, me. Well, in France it was, was specifically linked with the colonial situation yeah. for sure. And also, uh, there's a big tradition in France of public school that should be laic, which is, you know, non-private, mm. not religious, yeah. etc. Of course, uh, you can have any religion and go to those schools, but the French are very proud of this particular public system. And they use that, actually the mm. same argument, the fact that, you know, they are in a public school and so nobody should be different, etc. So it's a, it's yeah. a double language. That's really. fair enough. So going, in, you know, how did you come up with the idea of hijab day at university? Uh, because uh, I teach post-colonial literature and I was teaching a, a particular course in the evening mm -hmm. and um, I decided to have a little bit of a hands-on um, mm -hmm. experience. So I started organizing what I call soirée culturelle, uh, mm -hmm. cultural evenings, and in every evening I would recreate an atmosphere from, atmosphere from a book that I was yeah. teaching and then we talk about that. The first one was about North Africa, Algeria, yeah. and the discussion very naturally was around Islam. Yes. The, what I did is that I contacted all the Muslim Students Association mm -hmm. and Master, I went to talk to them, yeah. and they were the ones who participated, and mm -hmm. especially um, young women, like okay. Yasmin Hatta was one, um, some of my students, young women wearing hijab were there, and something happened. Mm -hmm. They started talking, they started uh, speaking about their choices for wearing the hijab, their choices for not wearing it, you mm -hmm. know. And then students who are not Muslims learned a lot about Islam that night. They, they yeah. were really, the response was amazing, you know, and we talked a yes. lot about the hijab. And the students, I mean, uh, non-Muslim students, um, completely changed their per perspective. They wrote to me saying, now we've changed completely from seeing a woman oppressed to seeing a woman who's actually very brave because it's hard to wear a hijab in this post 9-11 era. Yeah. Do you agree from your experience and your students, do you feel that women are forced to wear the hijab or it's their choice or a mixture or what, what do you see? The thing is, this is, ex this is really not what uh, I was concerned about at all. Mm -hmm. I am not going to discuss the issues of the hijab. I, yeah. Well, I teach about that, I teach about Islam, mm -hmm. so I know 
this is not my point. The That's point I was wa wanted to make, I mean, I, if somebody is forced to do something, I'm against it. But to be forced to put on something or remove mm -hmm. it is the same thing. Yes. You know. Um, okay, so how did you decide, let's do a hijab day, and how um, did you pick that Well, day? it was gradual. The, the mm -hmm. first uh, cultural evening was a big success. Yeah. And I found that uh, students were very, very energetic, especially the Muslim mm -hmm. students in this case. Yeah. And they kindly invited me. Mm -hmm. and, and not to convert me or anything. Mm -hmm. They invited me to join them every Friday, you know, mm -hmm. at the they have prayers every Friday, yes. right? So obviously when I went, I'm mm -hmm. not Muslim myself, but I would wear a hijab, okay? Yes. I was not going to disrespect, and I understand. That's fair. So, and then I started wearing it, you know, on my way mm -hmm. to the gym, and then I started, you know, experiencing some unpleasant reaction from people. Some people were really worried that I was going to be converted, which mm -hmm. never, nobody ever tried that. And people told me nicely that maybe I was sending a wrong message because it was a sign of oppression of women. What, what kind of uh, people who tell you this? Like, it's Lots especially of in, a, in a university environment where people are supposed to be well, open-minded, yeah. right? Well, surprisingly, I mean, I find, I often find that people from, um, from the community, from the um, the more modest community, mm -hmm. less academic um, environment, are usually more open-minded. Mm -hmm. I, I went to um, uh, an event called Hamilton Speaks, you yeah. know, and it was a wonderful event, you know, organized by a lot of mm -hmm. cultures in Hamilton. Yeah. The, the show was very multicultural, you mm -hmm. know. Academics are a bit different, you know, because precisely they're going to stop on uh, issues about the hijab, like we're going to Mm -hmm. talk about the theory, the feminist mm -hmm. theory, the religious theory, yeah. you know, and not about the experience of the people. Okay. 